there seems to be basically two strategies I see in industry now. One scares the heebie-jeebies out of me, and the other one I find much more encouraging. Okay, which one? Uh, can, can we break them apart? Which which of the two? <laughs> the one that scares the heebie-jeebies out of me is this attitude that we're just going to make ever bigger systems that we still don't understand uh -huh. until they can do be as smart as humans. I what could possibly go wrong? Right? Yeah, I, I think it's just such a reckless thing to do, and, and unfortunately. And if we actually succeed as a species to build artificial general intelligence, then we still have no clue how it works. I think at least 50% chance we're going to be extinct before too long. It's just going to be an utter epic uh, own goal. You know? So it's that 44 minute losing money problem or like the paperclip problem, like where we don't understand how it works and it's just in a matter of seconds runs away in some kind of direction that's going to be very problematic. Even long before you have to worry about the machines themselves uh, somehow deciding to do things and to us that we have to worry about people using machines that are short of AI, AGI and power to do bad things. I mean, just t take a moment and if, if anyone who's not worried particularly about advanced AI, just take... 10 seconds and just think about your least favorite leader on the planet right now. Don't tell me who it is. Mm -hmm. I want to keep this apolitical, but just see the face in front of you, that person for 10 seconds. Yes. Now imagine that that person has this incredibly powerful AI under their control and can use it to impose their will on the whole planet. How does that make you feel?